It's never been more important than being able to set up an e-commerce store in a quick and efficient manner. Because of this, there's so many different options out there to choose from to actually get this task done. When it comes to building an online e-commerce store, Shopify is the industry standard. If you're thinking about building a clothing store, a drop shipping store, or a physical product store, Shopify is one of the best solutions to do that. They have some amazing tools that you can access when you utilize their platform. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use each and every single one of those tools and how to actually start building building your Shopify store in less than 15 minutes. We'll be covering everything you need to know from how to sign up for Shopify, how to build your first store, how to import products, and even how to do a little bit of the marketing. By the end of this video, you'll be a Shopify expert and you'll have your very own Shopify store built out from scratch working alongside me. Make sure you watch to the very end of this video. Please don't skip any of the parts because if you skip anything, you could potentially make mistakes. Other than that though, let's dive right into building this Shopify store. Now to get started with Shopify for the cheapest price available, you're gonna wanna hit the link down in the description of this video. Once you hit that link, you'll be taken to a page that looks like this. As you can see, you can get started with Shopify for only $1 for your first month. It's basically a free trial. And this essentially allows you to build your first store without even having to pay a subscription. So the first thing we're gonna do here is enter in our email address and hit the start free trial button. The first thing Shopify is going to do is it's gonna ask us a series of questions about what kind of business you're trying to build. Because each of you are different, and you might be trying to build a different type of Shopify store. We'll skip this and I'll show you how to build all this from scratch. So the first thing we'll do is head down here where it says skip all and click the skip all button. Once we've done that, Shopify will then ask us where our business will be located. For the sake of this video, I'm located in the United States, but if you're located in any of the other countries that are available here, you can choose one of those. Once I've selected my country slash region, I'm going to hit next button. Now all I simply have to do is create a quick Shopify account. You can do this with a variety of different options here with either your email address, your Apple account, your Facebook account, or even your Google account. For the sake of this video, we're going to just use my email. All I have to do is enter in my email email and enter in a quick password. Once I've entered in all those details, I then can create my Shopify account. It'll now take a few moments to get everything set up properly on the back end. And once that loads in, we're now officially inside of Shopify. This is what you're going to be greeted with the second you get logged in. The first thing you'll see here is the get ready to sell page. This is basically a quick setup guide that's going to give you a clear idea of everything you need to do for your next seven things. Those seven things include things like adding your first product, customizing your online store, adding a custom domain, setting your shipping rates, setting up Shopify page, payments, placing a test order, and removing your store password. Now, for the sake of this video, I first want to show you how to actually design the website, the thing that people are going to see in the first place. In order to start making changes to that online store, we're going to head over to the left column here. In the left column, we're going to click the online store option. Once we click that option, we then can choose from a variety of different things here, whether themes, blog posts, pages, navigation, or preferences. Now, for the sake of this video, we're just going to show you how to edit the theme. There's a bunch of different themes that you can choose from that are already existing and great starting points. But we're basically just gonna start with the basic theme, which is the Dawn theme. All we have to do now is head over to the right here and click the customize button. Once we click the customize button, we'll then be inside of this page here. This is where the magic happens. Now, the first thing you wanna do when you're building your Shopify store is add products to it in the first place. The way we can go about doing that is heading over to the products tab in the left right here. Once we're in the products tab, we then can click add product. Once we click that button, it will then give us an option to start customizing everything we could possibly think of. The first thing, for instance, is this short sleeve t-shirt description that they have as an example. We'll change this over to just t-shirt. Once we've done that, we can then go into the description here or we can just generate text ourselves. We just say t-shirt cotton comfort or something like that and then hit the generate button. Once we've done this, it will then generate a quick easy made description that we can just copy and paste directly into our description. As you can see, we now have a title of the product and a description. Now we need to go ahead and add some photos so people actually know what they're buying in the first place. We'll head down here to where it says media, hit upload, new and then we can start adding images of our product first things first we'll add images of this t-shirt right here as you can see i just uploaded those it'll take a short moment to get them loaded up and now we officially have our product photos inside of our media tab we can also choose a quick little category here and then obviously mess with the pricing now for pricing this is fairly important you're going to want to consider how much it actually costs to make these t-shirts in the first place and of course the profit margin that you want to achieve let's say for instance it costs us six bucks per t-shirt to actually make them and start selling them in the first place. If that's the case, we can say that the cost item down here is $6. We'll go up to the price here and let's say we want a $20 profit margin. Now for the actual profit margin, it can be anything we'd want it to be. And of course, it also heavily depends on the type of value that you're giving from the product itself. We'll price this t-shirt at $30. As you can see down here, it auto calculates our profit and our margin, which is about 80%, which is pretty good. Once we've had all the pricing figured out, we'll then go down to inventory. We'll definitely want to click this track quantity 
quantity button. The reason we want to click this is so that way we don't start selling something even if we're out of stock of it. If that was something that you wanted to implement, you can go down to your shop location here and click one of these. You can also even add something like an SKU or a barcode, which is super helpful for keeping track of inventory. The next thing we'll do here is shipping. Now for the weight of this, we could say it's about one pound, just as an example. And then you can also even add variants. This is super helpful if you have different things like sizing or colors. And then that's pretty much all we have to do. We then can go down here to the bottom right and hit the save button. All we have to do now is go back to our products tab and see that our t-shirt is officially listed. The next thing we want to do is customize our online store. All we have to do to customize our online store is head over to the online store category, hit the themes option, and then hit the customize button. If you guys want a full breakdown on how to customize your Shopify theme and of course edit your online store, you also can check out some of our other videos that we have posted to this channel. They'll show you everything you need to know from the drag and drop functionality that the store editor has, even the custom features that they also allow you to utilize. Once we've edited our theme, we can then add a custom domain. Now for our custom domain, we can add just about anything, but realistically you can pick any of the store domains that you have or even buy a new domain. Once you've picked out your domain, you then can head down to your shipping rates. For this one, you'll basically set your shipping rates and you can pick a variety of different shipping places to ship from. Shopify shipping covers pretty much all of the major shipping providers, people like USPS, UPS, and even DHL. Once we've set up our shipping, we'll then head down to our payments. And in our payments, we can choose what type of payment processor we want to utilize. And we even have the option of utilizing Shopify payments, which is a pretty solid platform as well. Once we've done all this, we can then place our first test order, which is basically just a fake order that it doesn't actually spend real money. As you can see, Shopify even provides you with a super helpful walkthrough on placing your test order that you'll definitely want to utilize. Once we've done all of this, we'll then give our final details for our Shopify store. We'll do things like add a homepage title and of course add a homepage meta description. We'll even add things like our social sharing image and of course our Google Analytics, our Facebook pixel, and then we'll just simply have to remove our store password and then of course our website is officially ready to go. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Let me know down in the comments below what type of Shopify store you're interested in creating. Also let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer them. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe so you never miss any of our new videos. Other than that though, I'll see you guys in a future video.